Welcome to Drips of Consciousness. I am Crystal Crawford, and you are invited to a completely different world where my epiphanies in consciousness could change everything for you. So I come to you mid-epiphany today, which is what I'm hopeful that this series of shows will be. Um, Today's epiphany, it is November 2020, and This last six months for me personally has been incredibly peaceful and also incredibly intense. And the thing in my world that has created probably the most intensity and joy has been my relationship. I... We just last night had one of those unravelings that feel like everything is falling apart and when you really look at it you get that everything is falling apart to come back together which I just want to say is a really really good question to ask yourself when everything literally feels like it's falling apart like it's dead it's gone you've broken up it's died you know whatever that thing is because that can occur with your business, it can occur with your finances, it can occur with your body, your relationship. And I've, you know, been going through a series of what I'll call healing crises with both my body and my life. So, you know, last night as we were going through this, I really started to, is well, you know how that goes. It's like everything starts to feel over. And in a sense, or totally in those moments, something is over. There is a death, you know, of what was into the possibility of what can be. And so we got through it. And there was, you know, that's probably a whole other conversation. I don't know if that's actually ever going to come out into public because, you know, a lot of these moments are super private. But where I was driving around today, just in the aftermath of, you know, the afterglow, aftermath (laughs) You guys know how that is, right? When you go through a huge transformation somewhere. And the thing that I started to, it just started to dawn on me is that in this particular area, somewhere he and I both, or I definitely had slipped into coping instead of creating the relationship. And it's so... I don't know when that happens. You know, I was going to say it's such a slippery slope. I don't know if it's a slippery slope or if it's just such an unconscious occurrence most of the time where you transition from creating your finances into coping or you've always only ever coped with finances and creating your finances has never been a conversation. And I know in my world that this this area of relationship, whether it's with a sexual partner or my family or, you know, a friend or whatever, is an ongoing facilitator of me, period. (laughs) And I'm always looking at it. I'm always looking at how it can be greater. I'm always looking at, you know, what it takes to have more and all that stuff. But somewhere in there, in the last six months, I slipped into or, or chose unconsciously to cope instead of create. And as, I, as that was dawning on me today as I was driving around, I, I, I started wondering what questions I could be that would actually be a generative element in our relationship. As I was looking at all of this, one of the things that came back to me that I'd read recently was, that, was the difference between creation and generation. And... In this reality, to create something, you have to destroy something else. So if you're in a, and this is actually probably where I need to go back and like re-record this and say generate my relationship, but whatever, I'll, you know, use create in this episode with air quotes around it. But to create something, you have to destroy something. And, but to continue to generate something, you don't have to destroy anything. And that is actually what I mean. Instead of creating my relationship, I do mean generating it. So So I recognized that I was doing the destroy part so that I could create something else. But that right there loops us into this reality's 
version of relationship, which is a distractor implant and only leaves you with two choices. Should I stay or should I go? And, you know, like all week, it's like, should I stay or should I go? And I'm like, what, what is this? I, I know that's a limited menu. I know that I'm doing coping with that choice. And, you know, as I was really wrestling with just what had stopped working anymore. And, you know, of course, trying to identify what had stopped working and trying to figure out the problem and none of which works, by the way. You know, I started asking some questions and this is pre-meltdown yesterday. Like, okay, so if I choose to stay what will my life be like in five years? Yes or no? I got no. I'm like, okay. If I choose to go, what will my life be like in five years? Yes or no? I got no. I'm like, oh, there's actually just another choice available. So I said, well, if I make a different choice here, what will my life be like in five years? And I got, yes, different choice. So then we had our evening last night where everything unraveled, you know, had the conversations we had, felt like everything was over, and then, you know, got to a different point in the conversation where I was really like, I think we're at a point right now where we choose the typical choice that everybody does, which is, okay, this has gotten difficult, so let's leave. Or we have to now get more vulnerable, and so we sort of left it on that note and it was, it was good. I mean, and everything was still tender this morning. And as I was, but as I was looking at it this morning, this thing of, this thing occurred to me of like, I've been coping instead of generating. That's really more accurate. I've been coping instead of generating. So I, I wanted to, so the questions I started asking myself in the car And I started looking at the energy of our family and Luna and, you know, my partner. And I started asking, what and what can I actually be today to generate more happiness and gratitude with all of us right away? And what can I be or do to contribute to a greater future for all of us? And what can I be or do to contribute to our general level of happiness? And it was so amazing what started to shift in my world. It and that's the that's the gift of a true question. You know, when you ask a true question, there is no answer, right? It's just to open up space and to open up the space for the universe to contribute. Awareness and possibilities. And and so I so so I asked the and you know, and as the space started to change, I was like, wow, I have literally never in my life yet asked those questions or chosen that, chosen that. And it really is striking me how different things we'll be able to be if what I'm choosing to function from is what can I be or do to enhance and expand our general level of happiness. So I wonder what can show up now. Thank you so much for listening to this show. My target is to make consciousness easy to find. So if you enjoyed this, please leave a five-star review and also share this with a friend who you know might be looking for more consciousness in their life. You can visit me on crystaljoycrawford.com and to learn more about the incredible life-changing tools of access consciousness, go to accessconsciousness.com and theclearingstatement.com. And be sure to subscribe to the podcast.